So you want to bring your products to market quicker and save on hardware? iCAS customers typically have a 25% shorter time to market. With RISC-V, you will be able to reduce your hardware cost. Hello everybody and a warm welcome. Together with our distinguished software engineer, Chi Ming Xie, we want to demonstrate AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 running on RISC-V. My name is Norbert Steinhauser and I'm the Chief Product Officer here at iCAS. What is so special about Jamaica VM supporting AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 on RISC-V? Well, simply put, at first glance, nothing. Nothing special because this comes by design. This is what Jamaica VM is supposed to provide. The simple support of functionalities like AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 on different platforms. Of course, we are proud about the fact that it only took us half a day to get Jamaica VM up and running on Sci-5's RISC-V board running Linux. Is this a full product yet? No, not yet. We still need to productize this, which means that we need to fully test our port, properly document it and so on. A very short period of time until this will be available though. We were able to port Jamaica VM so quickly because Jamaica VM is using an ahead of time compiler and some APIs we built to be able to port quickly to new computing platforms and operating systems, which is why we have such a broad support of embedded platforms. What does it provide to customers? Jamaica VM provides an abstraction layer and thereby allows more independence from the underlying computing platform. Greengrass today already comes with support for many platforms like Linux on x86 or ARM 7 and 8, Mac on Intel 64, FreeBSD on x86 and Windows on x86. Jamaica VM will add QNX on x86, ARM 7 and 8, as well as VXWorks on x86, ARM 7 and 8, and of course RISC-V running Linux. Chiming has been instrumental in bringing our technology onto RISC-V and porting Greengrass onto Jamaica VM. Now, over to you, Chiming, for the demonstration of AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 running on Linux on a Sci-5 board. Thank you, Norbert. Hi, my name is Chiming Xie. In this demo, we are going to show a proof of concept that we ported AWS Greengrass with the Java runtime on a new Sci-5 unmatched RISC-V board. We created a Java Greengrass component which generates simulated vehicle data and send them via MQTT to the cloud. AWS Greengrass provides native porting layers for different operating systems and uh, CPU architectures. In this demo, we extended the support of Linux RISC-V platform. In this diagram, we show the components we extended. Two major parts are the AWS Java Common Runtime and uh, the JNA support for the OSHI. In addition, we created an NQTT generator, which generates a simulated vehicle data to be used by the AWS Location Service. So now let's get started. So first, we have to connect to the board via SSH. Now we can take a look of the architecture and uh, the operating system. So from the CPU info, we can see there are four RISC-5 64 bits cores. And with UNAM, we can see the Linux kernel version is 5.9. So now we can start the Greengrass service. So currently, the Greengrass is integrated as a systemd service. So we can use systemctl to control it. So now the Greengrass is currently stopped. So we are going to start it. And on this board, we install the Greengrass on a SD card. So here we are going to show the installation directory.
on the right hand side we have uh, AWS IoT console so first we go to the green grass page so we can check the core devices and for here for this demo we created iCast demo core 01 device and uh, we also created some custom components now going back to our terminal so we can check whether the green grass has been started Okay, looks like it's uh, started successfully. So we can use the command line service uh, to uh, interact with the framework. So this command is called uh, Greengrass CLI. And for example, we can get the components and the layer status. See, we have uh, listed a uh, couple of components deployed on this device, and we can also confirm them with the uh, console, console on the AWS. And also, we can use the uh, Greengrass local debug console to communicate with the framework. So the local debug console is using the web interface for that we need to get the debug password from the greengrass CLI so now we get the, the password so we go to the browser connect to the greengrass local debug console and type uh, the user debug and the password we just got so here we can see the component dependencies and uh, the component deployed to the device and their current status well here we also see the device uh, details the cpu architecture risk risk 5 and uh, the kernel version So now we see we can see the MQTT uh, generator component is uh, currently running. So we are going to check whether it sends data to the cloud. So first we need to get the MQTT topic from the MQTT generator. So here we can see the, this ICAS demo trip data is what we are looking looking for. So we go to the uh, AWS IoT test page so we can subscribe the MQTT topic so we type the topic to the field and subscribe it now we can see the data is coming in And now we go to the local debug console and stop the component. See, we can see the, the data has stopped it, updating the tool to the channel. So now we are going to uh, use the uh, Greengrass COI to uh, start the, the component again so yeah we start the component MQTT uh, generator OK, 
Okay, so now it started. And we can see the uh, data start coming in again. So let's see uh, whether we can see the, the vehicle data uh, appears on the AWS location services. So we connect to the, the page of this location service. So see, as we can see here, so we can see the data is coming in and uh, the vehicle data appears on the map. So it actually shows uh, the location from the Munich airport to, to Nuremberg. So to conclude this demo, uh, here we demonstrated the Greengrass Java runtime ported on Sci-5 unmatched risk five board. The porting experience was actually quite smooth. And we are looking forward to uh, having more opportunities to work, work on it. Thank you very much for watching. And now back to you, Norbert. Thank you so much, Jiming, for showing us this awesome demo of AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 running on a Sci-5 High 5 unmatched board with a risk 5 chip in a Linux system. Are you as excited about this port like we are? Do you want to use AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 on risk 5 Go ahead. We contributed the changes we made to AWS IoT Greengrass 2.0 back to AWS's open source repository and they were accepted already. As I mentioned in the beginning, Jamaica VM is not yet fully productized. My Jamaica VM engineering team confirmed that we are a few weeks away from launching this product. If you want to get a preview, please reach out and request an evaluation version, which will come as a late beta for the time being. Come and visit our website to get started on your journey with Jamaica VM running on RISC-V. Jiming and I Look forward to supporting you on your Risk V journey. Should you have any questions, please reach out on LinkedIn, Twitter, or via our website. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon.